fellow professors, uh, invited guests, and conference participants, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure uh, to offer my sincere congratulations on the launching of this important conference about the implication of COVID-19 under the title of the Next Normal Conference 2020, Reimagining the Next Normal. This event is organized by our, co our colleagues at Korea University of Medicine, along with the Humanitarian and Conflict Response Institute at the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom, the Center for Humanitarian Health at Johns Hopkins University in the United States, and the Institute of Korean Studies at Freier University uh, Berlin, Germany. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all our distinguished guests and speakers who are participating from around the world. I thank each and every one, one of them uh, for contributing their efforts to make this event informative, relevant, and impactful. In particular, I would like to express my gratitude to our conference speakers who are participating from the outside of Korea. Professor Jim Daker, Dater, Professor Emeritus from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and Professor Martin Mackey, a professor of Uni uh, European Public Health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. In addition, I also like to recognize the efforts of Professor Younghun Kim, uh, Executive Vice President of Medicine, uh, Medicine, Medical Affairs here at Korea University and his steps for all their efforts in preparing for today's event. I also like to express my sincere appreciation to Ms. Heron Chan, uh, alumna of Korea University College of Medicine for her uh, generous sponsorship of today's conference. Today's conference on the theme of reimagining the next normal is the particularly timely uh, as people all, all, all around the world are reacting to significant changes and disruptions in all area of life caused by COVID-19. We can no longer take for granted many aspects of life which seem to uneven for casual and normal. However, I believe that this disruption is acting as a prime motivator for us to overcome these difficulties through innovation and change. Each day, medical professionals, government officials, community leaders, and even average citizens are working together to fight against COVID-19. Medical workers in heavy hazmat suit on the front line of testing and treatment, uh, researchers logging extended hours in lab, conducting experiments to develop a vaccine, and ordinary citizens wearing face masks and practicing social distance while keeping in touch with loved ones, experiencing sickness, anxiety, and isolation. These are some evocative sense of COVID-19, signifying the challenges associated with the next to normal. They also extreme, uh, exemplifying some of the uh, best values of humanity, its strengths, determination, and dedication. I'm confident that medical and research communities around the world will ultimately win the battle against COVID-19. However, this success will be short-lived if we do not learn from the experience by proactively preparing for the future. We cannot simply focus on developing treatment protocols and improving quarantine measures while preparing for the vaccine. We need to seriously consider establishing an effective overall pro proactive system, both nationally and internationally, to defend vulnerable populations and avoid serious negative external externalities while preventing sim similar pre pandemics uh, from grieving the world in the future. 
I believe the purpose of Next Normal Campus 2020 is ultimately human. And in this regard, Korea University is doing its part to reimagine the future of the university and the higher education after COVID-19. Through such initiatives as Virtual Korea University, we are becoming a global hub for the transferring creative and integrated knowledge in new, unique, and innovative ways by leveraging online and non-traditional educational platforms. Dear friends, we must not let this global health crisis generate disconnections and divisions among us ending in discrimination. Now is the time to harness our creative problem-solving skills to construct new values so that humanity will not only overcome the pandemic, but also thrive after this crisis. I'm certain that uh, by bringing together the many scholars we have assembled, assembled here today, uh, along with conference participants watching from all around the world, the next normal conference will provide, to, uh, will pro prove to be an effective problem platform wielded with practical, useful, and productive discussions. Please enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.